Hi there, Frontline Church family. Today's Moravian text reading is taken from Acts 13, verse 20. 20b means the second half of verse 20 through to verse 33. It's a sermon. It's part of a sermon preached by Paul in a Jewish synagogue in Pisidian Antioch, and that's inland Turkey, about two days north from the coast from modern day Antalya. And what Paul is doing here, uh, preaching this sort of sermon in a synagogue, is he's demonstrating his normal practice. He is doing what he always does and he is leveraging his education and upbringing and Jewishness to get an audience in a synagogue as he was entitled to do. And he's building rapport, he's building connection with those Jews by reminding them of their shared and great history. Now, undoubtedly, they'd have all been nodding and saying amen as Paul unpacked this big story of God, of how God had, has always blessed his people, but how his people have always rejected him, and how that rejection of God throughout all the Old Testament led them into hardship into slavery, and how, most importantly, God has always, always provided and raised up unlikely leaders and saviours, like Moses, brought up an Egyptian, or like David, a shepherd boy, or like the prophets, unexpected leaders who would lead God's people out of slavery and into intimacy and relationship. This was their history. This was their understanding of God, of how they understood God to work in the world. They'd have said amen to it. And then Paul masterfully moves from agreement, we're all on the same page, into good news, the good news of Jesus, another unexpected and likely leader, promised by God, promised to lead his wayward people once again out of slavery and back into intimacy and relationship. It's an incredible bit of logic and reason because it forces them to make a choice. A, a bit, you can be like the people of old who rejected those leaders and therefore rejected God, or you can accept Jesus as the Messiah. This person, Jesus, who I mean, they would have undoubtedly heard the stories about Jesus. But Paul is saying that this person, Jesus, was the fulfilment of all of the promises of God, all of the Old Testament scripture, all of the prophecies. They all pointed to one person, Jesus Christ. Just a few quick thoughts for application today. Firstly, let's speak of Jesus like Paul does. Let's share the good news with those around us. But like Paul, let's give some serious thought and consideration as to how we can do that effectively. Paul starts by building rapport, building connection, a mutual starting point with these Jews. And I think it's so important to do the same. Uh, the, the four points, by the way, that, that, uh, an excellent example of how we can do that, how we can share the good news. Also, um, what is it? The, the person you are witnessing to desires. What are their hopes? What are their dreams? What are their longings? And how can we demonstrate that Jesus alone is the true and perfect and complete answer to that, to their longings? So for the Jewish people, their longing was for a Messiah, a saviour that had been foretold and promised in the scriptures, a coming saviour who would free them from slavery and rescue them and draw them back into intimacy and relationship with God, a saviour who would free them from this heavy burden and bondage of the law and the rules. I mean, we see that with Paul's parting words uh, in tomorrow's reading. Um, his parting words to those who receive Jesus, he says to them, continue in the grace of God. For Sergius, the Roman governor that we read about just over the page earlier in the chapter, he needed a miraculous demonstration of power 
in order to abandon his old pagan ways. So that's what he got. But what about your friends, your neighbours, your colleagues? What would be good news today to them? Maybe it's that in Jesus you have found peace in troubled times. That would be good news. Maybe that in Jesus you have found freedom from your past hurt and shame. Whatever it is, let's be people who speak good news and live out good news and model it to the world around us. Have a blessed day doing just that.